Hi guys, welcome to Dog Shala. In this video, we are going to see about gas gangrene from microbiological point of view, but we also see how it is, uh, uh, symptoms and uh, the treatment part also we'll also cover uh, in this video itself. So see the video till end. And uh, if you are like our video, do like our video and do subscribe to our YouTube channel for more such videos. So let's just uh, see what is gas gangrene and with which organism it is caused. So gas gangrene, it is also known as clostridial myonecrosis. Okay, it is also known as clostridial myonecrosis. It is a bacterial infection which causes that produces tissue gas in gangrene. Gangrene is a necrotized tissue. When necrotized tissue is filled with gas, then it is called as gas gangrene. It is caused by clostridium perfringens bacteria. It is uh, uh, the bacteria cause myonecrosis by specific exotoxins. They produce specific exotoxins which cause myonecrosis of the tissue. These microorganisms are opportunistic and in general enter the body through significant skin breakage. So this is the clostridium perfringens organism present on the slide here. So let's see what are the symptoms the patient present with. So as you can see in the image here, there is discoloration and uh, there is a bubble lesions, black color lesions. So distinctive, distinctive bubble black color lesions are formed uh, which uh, exhibit gas producing bacteria. So you can see skin discoloration and the smell of the lesion will be foul and sweet smelling and uh, black, uh, necrosis is there, fever is present, pain at site of surgery or trauma, lightheadedness, rapid head rate, uh, rap rapid heart rate and uh, numbness of the affected site, blisters are seen and air in subcutaneous tissue also known as crepitus. Crepitus is a crackling sound can be heard when we touch the palpate the lesion. Then swelling is seen and jaundice is also seen in the patients exhibiting gas gangrene. So what are the pathophysiology? As we have, as we know, it is caused by the exotoxins produced by the clostridium species. They produce two toxins, that is alpha toxin and theta toxin. So these cause necrotizing damage to the tissues. Alpha toxin and theta toxin of clostridium bacteria which are exotoxins cause necrotizing damage to the tissue. Then coming to diagnosis, biopsy of the affected tissue site is taken, culture of the fluids of the uh, blister are done, MRI to visualize the necrotized subcutaneous tissue, x-rays for air pockets in affected tissues and microscopic identification of the bacteria is done and uh, since it is a bacteria, Gram staining is also done. Then coming to the treatment. Treatment involves debridement and excision of the affected tissue. In some cases, amputation may also be necessary. Then it when it occurs in abdominal cavity, the patient is treated in a hyperbaric chamber. Hyperbaric chamber is a chamber which consists of pressurized oxygen rich atmosphere. Okay, so this is the, in this image, it is um, uh, uh, showing the hyperbaric chamber treatment. So when the patient is affected, it, he has come with the lesion of this kind. So after day one, day two, day three, day four, day six and day seven, you can, uh, you can uh, uh, see how the lesion has progressed in uh, healing, right? From being a black mass, it has turned into some healthy tissue of the patient. So penicillin is also effective against clostridium perfringens, but it alone cannot uh, help in the treatment of gas gangrene. It has to be done along with other treatments. Okay. Then the question which was asked in the NEAT MDS exam was a 44-year-old female was diagnosed with necrosed limb of which for which she was operated. After the operation, the patient developed a sweet-smelling discharge from the site of operation with the crepitus. So, sweet-smelling discharge, already necrosed limb, necrosed limb which means sweet-smelling discharge and uh, uh, crepitus as a sign. So, this 
uh, shows that the patient is suffering from gas gangrene at the site. Okay. The gas gangrene is caused by clostridium perfringens. So clostridium perfringens is the answer for this question. So if you like our video, do subscribe to our YouTube channel and you can also follow us on Instagram, Telegram and WhatsApp channels also for more such content and more updates on the content. Thank you.